Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to To The Core, a game where we have an entire solar system to mine and we must do so by using lasers and missiles and drones and man there's a lot going on but for every little bit of the planet we destroy we get closer and closer to the core. <laughs> He said it! He said it! And once we have access to the core, we can fire grenades, we can shoot our laser at it until we prestige the planet. And then the game gravity goes mental because we're in the middle. Let's go too fast. It's Planet NATO! Planet NATO t-shirt coming soon. Anyway, for every prestige, you get a multiplier on the amount of ores and gems you can find, but also how strong each block is. So our prestige 15 multiplier on this planet is times 3,375, which ultimately means I get a lot of resources, which which I can spend on this, the world's largest tech tree. And basically any green ones are ones that I can currently afford to upgrade. So if we go to the top right, what have we got here? A gem materializer increases the gem yield. So that costs 500 million gems, but I've done it. And we use gems in the crafting tab because we can craft specific resources like gunpowder, glass, circuit boards, and steel. Yeah, but they take different types of resources to be able to craft. And those gems, they allow us to upgrade these so they, they craft more quickly. Uh, there's also milestones which give us loads of like little bonuses and extra rewards. There's the resources tab where we can sell resources we have. I've got so much aluminium. Uh, spelling on there is wrong game devs. That says something like aluminum. That just sounds weird. But I could sell that for three and a half trillion quid. Yeah, and that might help us because some of these upgrades they don't require resources. They require money. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's just focus on like something to aim for, I guess. I mean, that could could be this one. So the vision upgrades, they allow you to see extra planets because in our solar system, we only have access to those planets you can see there. If we want to get to other ones, then we need to unlock them. Actually, actually zoom in here. We've got a moon there. I haven't, I haven't bought yet. I need 10 trillion quid for that. And on this moon has sulfur, rock and ooh, gold. But yeah, any planets I want past that, I need this vision upgrade. So we need circuit boards, diamond. I need a billion diamonds and a million steel. So circuit boards and steel get crafted. So circuit boards need diamond and silicon. Steel needs iron and coal. So let's upgrade that and craft some steel deal. And then I guess we've got to go to the diamond planet. So the diamond glacier, this is currently prestige two, which means we get eight times normal, not 3000 times, unfortunately. But every single layer of this planet does contain diamond. And uh, basically, because this is quite a hard planet, uh, I don't just mean because it's made out of diamond. I mean, because uh, it's like it's a high prestige and it's quite a later game sort of one. It means we don't actually last too long trying to mine it until we die. That's where back in the shop, we can buy things like damage boosters to make us do more damage per hit. And things like down here, we've got various sorts of armor we can increase. Oh, we need tungsten for that. We haven't found any tungsten yet. Uh, this one though needs cobalt. So maybe we can go find some cobalt. Because uh, basically, despite everything I have, I don't think we're getting that much diamond. I mean, actually, we've got, we've got like 20 million diamond. That's not too bad, I don't think. So let's go find a planet with cobalt in. And I have a feeling, was it this moon? Yeah, this moon has cobalt on it. So we'll do prestige two. And so we can, oh, we can rip through the top layer, which is sand. The second layer, which is coal. And this bottom layer, absolutely destroyed. Look at that. We've just ripped a hole through this already. Let's fire grenades at the core. And then hopefully, yes, we've prestiged it. So we'll prestige and restart, which means the blocks are a little bit harder, but they give us a lot more resources. And it's worth noting this laser I've got, this uses up quite a lot of fuel. You can see in the bottom left, that is going down. I can recover that by smashing through some like easier stuff. And as I work my way through here, look, the fuel bar's up again. So I think probably worth, oh, I just hit the cobalt and died. But yeah, so the more we can increase our fuel, the better. But let's do this cobalt. This is the armor. So we can upgrade that a few times. And then, oh, we've unlocked this one under here. Diamond covering. You can gain 100 armor with diamonds. Yes, please. And that's unlocked another one. <laughs> that's how this game works. It just keeps unlocking stuff. What is that? Oh, more drones. I can go from six to nine drones. Nice. So if we head back to this planet now, can you see all those up the top shooting the lasers? They are my drones. Uh, they're basically like my editors. They'll do anything I tell them to for cash. Um, but they're, they're a bit more expensive than my editors. I will say that. Anyway, we've blasted through the cobalt layer. Can we get another, another prestige? No, I don't think we can. There's too much going on. Okay, we'll just try and grab more cobalt so we can get more armor. That's the blue layer. There we go. We're chipping away at the blue. 
which means back in the upgrades, we can give ourselves some more Cobalt Covenant. A couple of those. Very nice. I should also upgrade some of these. So we've got armor up here. That uses coal. Uh, this down here, that's a fuel booster. So it increases our fuel tank. And fuel is basically our, like, health. So upgrade that a few times. Over this way, more fuel. Oh, yeah, we've got these two guys. They basically give us more depth the closer to the core we go. So that's eight times, nine times, ten times damage. That's maxed out. The other one, the yellow pill, that is the... We get more fuel depending on how close we are. So we'll try and max that out too. We can add an extra grenade for some gunpowder because we are crafting all these crafty things like all the time. But yeah, I do need to focus on circuit boards and steel really. Oh, and then... Oh no, I'm trying to save my circuit boards. But if I if I spend a hundred grenade regen so I can regenerate my grenades, that's got to be worth it. Oh, what's that unlocked next. God, reduces the delay of grenade regen. I need uranium, which we haven't unlocked yet. We need a new planet to find that, I think. So let's fire all my grenades. So we're down to zero grenades. And then, oh, we're back up to one grenade. Okay, so it does it does regen fairly quick. So my grenades are actually pretty good. They do a large explosive area. They do quite a lot of damage. I mean, look at this planet. We've ripped it in half. Um, while I'm here, I may as well, like, let's orbit the planet. Take out that top layer. Oh, we prestiged it. I think my drones did that. Fair play. So, prestige level four now. Oh, it's getting a bit tougher to get through. Let's lace the place in grenades. And then, as I was doing last time, we'll just take out the upper layer. All that sand. Love to see it. Alright, then I've got two more grenades. We have not got through the cobalt layer at all. That is a tough old layer. Yeah, as soon as I touched it, I died. Um, up here, though, check out this. The strongest shaped missile. Oh, wait, it's not missiles. It's missles. I was misled by the missles. Anyway, this takes steel. Oh, I'm trying to save steel, but I can go from seven missiles a second to eight. Now, these just shoot automatically. Uh, it's got two upgrades remaining. We need more gunpowder, so let's just craft that in here. I should probably upgrade with gems first, then craft. And you can see this number is going up probably like 2,000 every second or so. It's gonna take a while till I get 450,000 for that upgrade. Uh, but with all that sand from the top layer, let's increase our fuel a little bit. And with the cobalt, we can do health regen from 10% to 11%. Well, actually up to 15%. Thank you. All right, then we've got to try and get through this cobalt layer. It's a bit of a beast. Man, it's a proper... I can't get through it at all. Like, so I can ram pretty effectively. Like, if I go through, like, the sand layer, you can see I'm just smashing through it. If I try and go through the cobalt layer, instant death. So yeah, we really need these armor boosts. So this one uses coal. The fuel boost will help as well. This uses sand. All right, and then is there anything else green? Oh, up here. Here we go. Missile size. Increase that. Critical chance. Oh, up by 10%. Yes. Lee. Oh, man. Oh, critical chance up to 40%. Anyway, that's everything upgraded that I can for now. This tech tree is insane. Uh, let's go back to the diamond planet. I think there's quite a lot of diamond stuff I can do. Um, and hopefully, I'm a little bit stronger now. This diamond planet is pretty big. And the closer to the core you get, the stronger the diamonds get as well. Let's just lay some grenades down there. Is that getting us to the core in the slightest? Remember, the closer I go to the core, the more damage I do. Now, that's measured on the left by the lowest depth. So I'm getting boosted fuel and damage by like two and a half. If I can get a little bit lower, you should. Yeah, that number's gone up. We're now doing three times damage because I got really close to the court. Right, and actually now we are so close that we're doing six times damage. Let's just hit the core with everything we've got. We can prestige this bad boy. Come on, drones. Where are you? Yes, we've done it. We've done it. So let's prestige and then we'll stay here for a bit because now we've been to the core. Now we've got that 15 times damage, which hopefully means I can fly around the planet shooting my lasers. We are absolutely getting some diamonds. I am very bling right now. Let's see. Yeah, if I just keep ramming these, because I got explosive rammer, we are smashing through. My health isn't even going down now. But yeah, as of now, we've completely, we've completely destroyed this planet. Diamond glaciers, you're done, mate. So we'll head back to the shop where hopefully we've got some upgrades. I like ones near the edges because I think they're new. So this one here, or fusion. Oh, I only cost 150k diamonds. I got 460 million. That increases our resource drop rate by 50%. Yes, please. And oh, no. <laughs> Look at all these other arms we've got. So let's just keep buying these. And yeah, when we get to a certain point, we actually see what they are. So this is critical drop chance. I need 10 trillion quid for that just to increase it by 5%. I think if I keep 
buying this. And yeah, we've unlocked that one now. So farms. Oh, unlock the farm tab. That uses plant and soil. Remember, I found an earth sort of planet last time. So we can buy that. So now up here, we have this farming tab, which is completely empty. Uh, but beyond that, there's seed increased chance. So seed unlock chance goes from zero to 10. So let's do that, I guess. We need some organic matter to keep upgrading. That's level one out of a hundred. You may want to do that up here. That's another thing that unlocked core boosts. Provide stat boost depending on how many cores you have. I got 30 cores, uh, but I need 1.5 million gold and we haven't got the gold planet yet. Uh, so I think for now, let's just pump our diamond into this to see what that unlock is. Or reflection. Increase the drop rates of blocks. It needs uranium, which we don't have. Um, I think for now, though, I'll keep pumping my diamonds into there because now we can... <laughs> We had nearly 2,000% increase than what we were getting previously. I can then come up here and put the rest of my diamonds to make my drill stronger. Just done 10 levels of that. Nice. Next time I need tungsten, it seems. All right. And then finally diamond covering. That's the diamond armor. And then we're pretty maxed out again. So back to solar system. Let's keep ripping through diamonds. Oh my goodness. Oh man, this is a tough planet now. Look, me trying to rip through this. I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere. So this is just one prestige higher it shows how much weaker we are i mean the good news is our fuel bar isn't going down that orange bar on the bottom left doesn't seem to be taking a hit in this blue layer so we are just getting loads of diamonds if we head down to the pink layer though is that gonna is that gonna rinse us or are we oh we seem to be okay we're quite bouncy here oh no there we go we are dead but we now have 184 million diamonds so we'll spend them on the armor we only managed two out of that entire run not ideal uh, farming tab still empty equipment tab oh, i can only equip one thing at once this is my laser so if i want to go with something else i can find more gems or i can make the siphon better now the siphon gives us money for each hit so it means we don't have to go to resources and sell now it does it has this rock and sand thing shall we go to a rock and sand planet and see how that affects things so the ice planet has ice and underneath is sand and rock so let's do that one prestige five. Uh, oh, i don't have the laser anymore that's quite strange uh, but it should mean I get more money for smashing through this layer. So if I launch my grenades as well, that should clear out Get that bottom layer sorted. That is a tough old cookie. But yeah, you can see sand. We got 55 billion sand. Uh, so back in equipment, has that just, <laughs> that may have just maxed out like completely. But yeah, I think we now, oh, that's just, it's just increasing constantly. What's going on? I get like three and a half times siphon. Oh, so I think this is how we make money potentially. So down into the sand layer, then just launch grenades everywhere. Oh, I saw, I do miss my laser though. I'm definitely missing the laser. I got to actually like ram into stuff, which you can't really see anyway, but uh, you can see by my fuel bar, it's not, it's not working out the best for me. Although say that, look, I've hollowed out this planet completely. Let's try and destroy this core. There we go. Done. I assume that means, yeah, I already had Prestige 5 unlocked. I just wasn't on it. Oops. Anyway, Prestige 5, if we go down to the sand layer, health isn't too bad, but if I try and hit into the rock layer or even the core, yeah, core's just insta-death. But yeah, so Siphon Extender now maxed out. We're getting times six on the Siphon and a 300% drop boost. So up to five trillion quid. What did we need to unlock the next planet? It was that moon, wasn't it? 10 trillion. Oh, we're halfway there. Okay, that's worked out really nicely. Let's let's go to... I'm intrigued by this planet now. This is the one with plant, soil, and clay. Are we going to, like, find seeds here? Like, now we've unlocked them. Is this what we do here? I've always been confused by the timer in the top left as well. But yeah, we're, we're drilling through this planet pretty easily. Can't really get through into the core, though. Oh, it sort of looks like a bird from above the core. But yeah, trying to get through here. I'm just being pushed back like anything. But slow drilling means, yes, I think we're finally in to the core. Remember, if we go close to the core, we do a lot more damage because that multiplier on the left. Yes. So we've prestiged it. So we'll prestige, go right to the middle. Then we got that 15 times damage boost, which means, ah, oh, now we are ripping through this. Remember, we couldn't even get through this a second ago. Now we are 15 times stronger. Oh my goodness. Look on the outside, by the way. All those white things. I think they're all like, I was going to say aliens. I think I'm the alien. I think they're the inhabitants of the planet trying to defend it. There's so many of them. They're all getting destroyed by me though. So not too worried. But yeah, so how much money did we get from that? Looks like six trillion. So we only made one trillion that round. Not ideal when I need 10. Now what I could do, I could sell some stuff 
Are there any T's? I don't see many T's. It's just billions. Maybe I'll just have to do this a few more times. I mean, I don't mind doing it because I got that organic matter on soil, which means I can increase my seed chance. So we've now got a 74. That isn't percent chance. I don't know what that is. But yeah, I think we'll just mine this planet over and over. Uh, try and get the seed chance and then see what the seeds do. I mean, they've got to be they got to be worth it, right? I just remembered as well. I should really try and get to the core first. Does that extra damage really help? Like, look, I cannot get through this clay layer. It's about to kill me even. Yeah, it did kill me. Great. Okay, it's just got to be a bit more careful with this. And um, boost. Oh, no, I can't even hit it. If I go in an upper layer, my health does regen. Yeah, that bar's going up. So let's get rid of that layer. Then we'll head back over this way. No, I died. Man, it's so hard to get through that layer. Maybe I'll just go down to it once. And then I've got a 1.94. I mean, it's a bit more of a multiplier. It's not the 15 that I had when I destroyed the core. But uh, I am a prestige higher, so it is all going to be that way. I don't even... I don't need the clay layer, really. As long as I can get through this layer, I'm happy. Remember, all my drones are doing stuff. You can see the lasers back there. That's all my drones. So we have been teamwork working this thing up. Aha, and in farming, look at this. We've got rock seeds, ice seeds, and sand seeds. So it looks like I can prestige. What does the prestige do? Oh, it's using up my cores. Ah, okay. So if I just spread my cores out evenly, so we got 10 in each. If I then upgrade those, then I don't really know what they do. <laughs> Let's head back to this planet again. And we'll just have to keep an eye on the right to see if, like, any seeds happen or, I don't know, something like that. All right, well, didn't see any seeds appear. I can't seem to do anything here either. So for now, it's just a mystery as to what they do. Am I producing, like, ice constantly? Ice, sand, and rock? Is that what's happening? All right, my resources. Where? Oh, look. Yes, rock is going up. Ice is going up. Ah, that's what seeds do. <laughs> So we're gaining those three resources all the time. Oh, that's that's cool. I like that. Anyway, back to focusing on circuit boards. I need more diamond. I need coal for the steel as well. Although the steel, I need a million steel. That is a lot. Oh, and I can use these circuit boards to get more drones and make them shoot faster. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. I like my drones, my little drone army. Yeah, let's get some more grenades on the go as well because grenades are good. What is this one? Ceramic shrapnel. Oh, that's what I use clay for. Add shrapnel to all explosives. Yeah. Yes, please. I have a very explosive build, so that will that will come in handy. Yeah, I reckon then I'm quite liking just destroying this planet, getting all the getting my seed ratios up. So I might just destroy this a few more times. There's like green lasers going on. I don't even know like what damage I'm doing. I've got so many upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love this game. All right, nice. We got some more seeds. So we got some iron seeds. So yeah, let's take them off my rock and put them on iron. We're now getting 2.32 billion iron a second. Where's the iron? Oh, man. Look how fast that's going up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's insane. That's just like, I can sell that. That's just free money. I'm up to 8 trillion. So yeah, look, in, in almost seconds, that's another trillion quid. And then just like that, we have the 10 trillion we need. Oh, this is awesome. I'm loving seeds. I knew I'd like the seeds. All right, so that means this moon here, for 10 trillion quid, it's got sulfur, rock, and the gold that we needed. It's unlocked. So let's get involved. Oh, man, the army of drones. Look at them go, fair play. Right, let's get down and dirty. Let's get into that gold layer. Actually, let's get let's get through the core. There we go. We've made a gap. We'll get right down to the core. I've accidentally prestiged already. But now we've got that 15 times multiplier, which hopefully means, yes, we can just rip out the rest of the planet. Remember, this is only prestige one, though. So we're really not getting that much of anything. But the next prestige, it's times eight multiplier, which will be very handy. But I think for now, may as well destroy this whilst I'm here. Yeah, there you go. That is one planet pretty much destroyed. So back to the shop. How much gold did we actually make then? Ooh, enough to get this core boost upgrade that I needed for 1.5 million. I got 600 million gold then. Fair play. We've we'll unlocked that and then we've unlocked a load of new stuff. We need diamonds and gold. These will boost our fuel damage and the siphon. That's how much money we get. So we'll try this on prestige 2 just to see. Oh man, it's hard. It's I died instantly. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's reload it at Prestige 1. As before, get to the core. And then with our 15 times damage multiplier, we can smash through a bit easier. There we go. So yeah, we'll do this a couple of times just to get our gold numbers up. I've then headed back to this diamond planet, which, oh, we are ripping through. This is only Prestige 1, but um, remember, the core's pretty, pretty solid. So we'll go in, get the 15 times multiplier, and then we can, yeah, we can blitz through this. The sound is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so broken. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, sadly, though, nowhere near enough diamond. I need like, I need like 85 billion diamond. That was only 890 million. So yeah, probably should prestige that up to three. I think this is like a 30 times multiplier, which might give me quite a lot more. It seems pretty brutal at the moment. Yeah, I died instantly. I need to find a diamond seed. I'll tell you that. Anyway, down here, if we keep increasing our drones, we got two new upgrades for them. So we need circuit boards to do that. So I do have a lot of circuit boards. There we go. So we got, oh, drone bombs. But I need uranium and circuit boards. And then the other thing is just the shoot delay. I need uranium for that as well. All right, what I might do, since I have so many circuit boards, if I just get a load of glass, I can get loads of drones. So in order to craft glass i need sand and coal i have the sand i just don't have coal at the moment so this moon which is prestige eight this has the coal so let's just lace it in grenades coal is the middle the like darker layer so that's what i'm sort of aiming for i might have to get my laser back out because i'm actually finding it really difficult to do anything with these uh, although i did prestige a planet so let's prestige restart we'll go at it again can we destroy the core oh not quite not quite yeah the trouble is if i go back to lens and heart I lose my 300% drop boost. Still, I've tried it. Let's see how much worse it is or if it's better. Oh, I've... it's way better. It's so much better. Let's just keep prestiging. Like, yes, I'm not getting as much resources anymore, but the planets are getting destroyed. And surely just having a higher prestige sort of makes up for that, right? Right, prestige. <laughs> just keep prestiging. We're on prestige 13 now. Having a laser is a lot a lot better in my opinion. I oh, remember if I get closer, I get that damage boost as well. I keep forgetting about that. Although don't go don't go in too far, Matt. You just died. All right. So anyway, we got to prestige 18. I imagine that's probably as far as I want to go. My fuel bar's like always empty pretty much. Although, although we have just got to the core. Let's take it down. Take it down. Okay, it's down. It's down. I will prestige, but I won't restart. Let's just use this prestige to destroy the planet that's there. Because yeah, oh, look at our money going up. 200 trillion. Okay, that's good. That is really good. So now we go back to the shop. And oh no, I, actually, before we go to the shop, let's go. Can we get the uranium planet? What do we need for that? Oh, 700 trillion. Okay, that's no good. But yeah, I do want to go to the farming tab and use my new cores. I got 12 cores doing that. And oh, we've got coal seeds. So let's pump them into that. That's a billion every second. Thank you, game. The rock seeds. I got 12,000 rock seeds, so I can just upgrade that constantly. I don't really understand like how you know what seed you're going to get. Is it just random? But we're now getting 16 billion rock per second. What? That can't be right. So rock, 16 billion a sec. So I can sell that for 8 trillion. And then it just goes up. Look how, look how fast it's going up. So that is just constant money. So yeah, I guess it's time to buy a load of upgrades. Oh, our armor's getting tasty now. Yeah, right. Let's go back to the moon. And then, oh my god, what the? I just blitzed. Oh, it's prestige one, isn't it? It's prestige one. Yeah. Home's moon one. So yeah, gotta remember, scroll down to prestige 19. That's a 6,859 time multiplier. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. All right, and then that is another prestige. Yes, I thank you all. And then yeah, I'm getting lots of rock seeds. So maybe it depends on like where I am in terms of what sort of seeds I get. But yeah, the rock is making me money. <laughs> 16 trillion. Yes, please. So what if we go to like, like this ice planet? We can, oh, we can rip through this. It's, oh, just destroyed the core. Prestige restart. I think we're just going to go through and like prestige a load of these. Get a load of cores and stuff. Oh, it's so, it's so quick and efficient. It's so efficient. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. But yeah, hopefully I'm picking up some like ice or sand seeds. I'm definitely picking up cores though. And cores are useful for the seeding. I don't understand like how I got so strong. Like we're on prestige 16. I've just done this 11 times, almost back to back. Like yeah, this one's taking a bit more of a beating, but we've still, yeah, we've still done it. So back in the farming tab, 
did we get ice? Oh, yeah, we got ice seeds. So now I can plug those into there. So basically, this number at the top, that's how many seeds I have. And that's how much it costs to upgrade. So every time I upgrade, we get like a big multiplier. So I may as well put them all in. So upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So that's all of them in. Then every core I put in, this number like multiplies again. So we're getting a trillion ice seeds per second. <laughs> this is mental. This is nuts. Oh, I've been neglecting my gem. I got 4 billion gems. I should probably make the old circuit boards and the steel a bit more efficient. We'll upgrade some of these things that I can afford. All right, and then we're maxed out finally. Uh, what, Where should I head next? I'm, so, I'm quite overwhelmed now. I mean, this is the sulfur and gold planet. Let's see how we get on here now. I have a feeling trying to prestige these will be a bit more difficult. Okay, maybe not. Still, we're in the core. We go close to the core to get that multiplier. There we go. We've prestige. It, I did actually, I took a few attempts there. So I may just prestige and then destroy this planet just for, for the resources well, and the chance of seeds. Because so I think seeds, they're just a chance. So the more I destroy, the more chance I have of getting them. I assume. We'll have a go at the diamond planet. All right, then we'll just destroy with our 15 times multiplier. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> the sound of it. All right. Oh, what's up here? Shiny blocks. Unlock shiny blocks. I want a shiny block. Then increase my shiny block chance. Oh, I was 0%. We're now 1%. And then shiny block multiplier. Increases shiny block amount multiplier. Okay. I don't know what shiny blocks do. All I know is I want them. All right. Oh, look at my rock. I can sell my rock for a Q. What's a Q? I've now got 1.82 Q. So presumably that means I can go get that uranium planet for 700 trillion. I imagine it goes T then Q. Oh, quadrillion. Yeah, I'm definitely an engineer. Anyway, radiation effect applied to this planet will remove fuel every second. Okay, something to be aware of. So our fuel is constantly dropping. This is quite uranium-y, this planet. Let's launch some grenades. Oh, my vision's gone weird. Is that because I'm radiated? The anyway, question is, can we destroy the core? No, we can't. Right, I'm going to have another go while I'm here, though. If I actually just focus on trying to get the court. Can we do it? Can we do it? No, we can't. Okay, that's pretty brutal. Let's head back to the shop and see what our uranium will help us with. Grenade regen delay. So that's quite good. That's led us to two new upgrades as well. Grenade bulk. Gain the ability to stack grenades and shoot them all at once. I need antimatter for that. Now down here. Oh, nuclear power. I can... Electricity tank goes up to 50,000. That sounds good. So drones now drop bombs. What is it? We can make the size bigger. Okay. Oh, and we can get orbital lasers. Yes, please. Okay, so let's head back to that planet and see how... Oh, my drones just destroyed the planet. It didn't even give me a chance. Oh, right click is orbital laser. That's what that does. So it looks like I have two of those. So let's do another one down there. Boosh. All right, so let's start a prestige time. I'm trying to get rid of my grenades. Now that got us down pretty far. Let's right click. Oh yeah, look at my grenade numbers going up. They're regening so quickly. Oh, this is incredible. Orbital lasers for the win. Yes, it's done. It is done. So back in the shop, before I do any... Oh, actually, what's that one? That's a new one. Increase the rate of block. Okay, we got to do that. We got to do that. So we're now getting 4,000 times more drops than we were previously. Oh, but yeah, in farming, didn't I get... Yes, I got uranium seeds. So I've only got three seeds. So I put them in there. We're producing one uranium a second. I've got five cores spare. So now we're getting 100 million. I'll tell you what, let's reduce the ice down to like five and then just pump them into uranium. Now we're getting a lot of uranium a second. Presumably, that's going to be worth more than ice. There's uranium. What's it? Oh yeah, it's worth, it's worth fat cash. All right, and then we're probably good to try and save up for like the next sort of thing. I might just head back to the diamond planet for now. See how we rip through with our orbital lasers. Oh, yes. Yes. Orbital lasering through the core of the planet. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm still very much addicted to this. But for now, I'll say peace, love. And mining planets till they're nothing. Bye.